for we are the circumcision, which worship God in the Spirit, and rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh. Philippians 3, 3 KJV, see also 1 Corinthians 3, 3 to 9 KJV. Sweetie let's pray as always before you head out, okay? Yes ma'am. Let's bow our heads. Father God in Jesus' name we come before you Lord and I ask that you watch over my daughter as she heads out on another journey of going to school today. Abra I pray and thank you for your daily provision and protection over and around her, bless her always and grant her the wisdom and love, the kind you approve of to help her get by each and every day. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Father God in Jesus Christ's name thank you Lord Abba for everything you blessed me with, even though I don't deserve it. Lord, I second everything my mom said and I pray the same towards her. Abba, I thank you and pray for your daily provision and protection around us. We bless your holy name always only and forever in Jesus Christ mighty name we pray, Amen. Amen. See you later baby girl. Have a good day and a safe trip Lord willing. God bless you, I love you. Bye mom and I love you too. God bless. I've got to get back to work back here but no talking to strangers and scream for help if anybody, I mean anybody tries putting their hands on you. Yes ma'am, but I think I'll be fine. I'm meeting my BFF at the train station. Zina, I know starting a new school can be scary, but you'll be just fine okay? Okay dad. Remember the Lord has his mighty protection around you. Okay. Just be your sweet self and make many Christian friends. That's your school right over there. Jesus be a fence around my daughter. Have a nice day sweetheart. I love you. I love you too daddy. Now go in there and make daddy proud. <laughs> We're here. So we are. Let's go. Yep. I guess Daniel came with Mitchell and Jay today. Bingo. Do you always have to ride with me? Your mother's orders. I don't have to ride with you for much longer. We're here. Alright bestie. This is where we part ways. Yeah right. But we're only four period classes away to be reunited at lunch. Get happy. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, Jesus loves you. It's an honor to have you at Southside Christian Academy. How may I help you today? Room 205 please. Good morning students. So nice to see all your lovely faces again. All but one. Ah. There she is. Welcome to Southside Christian Academy Miss. Sorry I'm late. I'm Zina Wang. Miss Wang so glad you can join us. You can take a seat next Dinah. Hi. I'm Dinah. I'm Zina. Barring. You'll get used to her. Unlikely. I did. Class before we start, we will recite the Lord's Prayer found in Matthew 6, 9-13 KJV. Let's bow our heads. Good. Now let's recite together. So they recite the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Great. Now take out your Bibles and notebooks. 
Today you will watch a biblical movie and you are to write down scriptures from the movie in your notebooks. Your job is to read in your Bible and study the scriptures you wrote down when you get home. If you forgot your Bible or you don't have one and need a pen and a notebook, please come to my desk to get what you need. I'm pulling up in the parking lot now. I'll be there in five minutes. Me too. Hi there. Hi. Shall we? After you. I'm sorry for caressing you but you're just so beautiful and lovely. I don't mind but with clean hands. Hand sanitizer every day on clean hands. <laughs> <laughs> Get whatever you want. Are you sure? I've never been sure. But this store looks so expensive. Money's no object when it comes to you. I thank God I can pamper the woman I'm with. Oh. Well alrighty then. I got the dresses I always wanted, eh? Thanks Kenny. Anything for you. And you look great in them all. I'll see you later but call me if you need anything. Kenny you are a good man of God and I'm so happy you are a part of my life. God bless you. God bless you too. I thank God for bringing us together. You're a lovely Christian woman and I don't want to keep us a secret anymore from our children. I don't either but we gotta find the right time to tell them. It's been only 8 months. I agree honey. And I'm a patient man, don't worry. Now where's that smile? See you later, babe. See you later and Lord willing I'll call you. Have a safe ride home. You too. Your BFF is funny. Ain't our friend the best. I concur. Hey Zina. Over here. Hey, Muffy right? I would like to sit with you if you don't mind. Do I look like I care? Wow, she just... How rude of her. It's okay. Guess I have enough friends anyway. Still she could have at least said no thanks or something. Yeah, I guess. My twin brother and my best friend? This is weird. I'll catch you two later. Bye, hater. <laughs> Take a walk with me. Why? Just cause. And what's the password? Please? Well, since you're begging, I guess. Hi, Rina. You're looking pretty today. What's that supposed to mean, Brad? Um, a compliment? Take a walk with me? I asked her first, my guy. Yeah, he asked me first. Sorry. Got to be quicker than that, buddy. What's up, Daniel? Are you okay? You know, what happened back there, with Zina, brushing you off. Why wouldn't I be okay? This is me. We've been friends as long as you've been friends with my sister. Actually longer than her since she stole you away from me. I'm still your friend too. You know you can be honest with me. So I ask you again, are you okay? Why do you care, Danny? I'm being serious here. And I told you why, because I am your friend and I care about you. You don't have to pretend with me. So? Well, it did hurt my feelings when Zina ignored me, but I'm used to pain so I just let it roll over. Remember my dad died in my mother's arms when I was only 10, and I was a daddy's girl. I missed my dad and cried for him almost every day for three months. My mother and me struggled for years trying to make ends meet, but thank God Jesus was there for us when nobody else was. Not even her own family would help her out. So like I said before, it's okay. It's gonna be okay and I'm here for you if you ever wanna talk, after you pray about it of course. Let's sit on the bleachers and talk a little more since we got 10 minutes before we have to head back in. Isn't that Zina with Brad?
You wanna come over my house tonight? I don't know. Maybe. He's the biggest whore in school. How is she with him already? It's no surprise. The Bible says how can two walk together unless they agree. Amos 3, 3KJV. Hey bestie. Hey girl, hey. Class, take your seats quickly so we can get started. Hi, mommy. Hi, baby girl. How's your day so far? It's good. Except the new girl was mean to Dinah in the cafe. And there she is. Hi. You must be Zina Wang. I'm Mrs. Linda. You can take a seat next to Mitchell. Mitchell, please wave. Class. This week we are going to learn about sex education from a biblical view, and why it's important to wait for marriage to have sex with your Christian spouse, when you become of age. Sex is a gift within marriage in this way, we honor God when we make love to our spouse within the holy bonds of marriage. Sex outside of marriage is not okay because it is the sin of fornication. The human race has survived so long, because we have followed God's order of man and woman to procreate, as in Genesis 1.28 KJV says. It's basic math and science. After the school bell rings. So for your science homework, do a web search on why our DNA connects in the entire human race tracing it all the way back to Adam and Eve. Then with that information, do a report on why safe sex is with a marriage ring and not a condom. God bless you all. See you tomorrow God willing and have a nice evening. Did you understand the assignment? I'm only asking because some people don't understand what to do. I don't need your help, slave. After school. What a day. The new girl Zina, she's so mean to people for no reason. Zina. Who's she? I keep hearing her name. She's the new girl. She's in all my classes. Me and Daniel saw her making out with Brad at lunch but on the bleachers. She was so rude to Dinah when Dinah offered her a seat at our lunch table. She didn't have the decency to at least say no thanks. She just sat over there with Muffy. Yep. And when Mrs. Linda assigned her seat next to Mitchell, she rolled her eyes. And after class, as I was leaving, I overheard Mitchell ask her if she understood the assignment, but for some reason she just rudely blew him off, saying she didn't need his help and called him a slave. My Mitchell? Yeah. He's the sweetest guy ever. <clears throat> no sweeter than you, my love. So what are we gonna do about her? The Christian thing. We gotta pray for her. Maybe she's mean because something bad happened to her, traumatizing her. Jesus bless this home. Hi, Mom. How was your day today? Oh sweetie it was a good day thank God. How was your day? It was good. Except for this new girl. What about her? She's kinda mean to everybody. Everybody except for white people. You don't think she's racist right? I know they won't tolerate that wickedness of the devil at your Christian college. She was mean to me and my Puerto Rican friends Daniel and Daniela whom you know. She was mean to a very nice black guy in chemistry class, but at lunch she was nice to this white girl, even though I invited her to sit at my lunch table and she was making out with this white boy after lunch, but he's the biggest whore in school. She was extra friendly with him, letting him put his gross tongue down her throat. You should have seen it mom. And she's new doing all that? You. But just remember, we shouldn't say white girl or black girl among believers. Color shouldn't divide us like it divides the world. Try to say things like, Caucasian sister or brother, when talking about Caucasian people in the body of Christ or in general. Oh, okay mom. But what do we call everyone else? For blacks in the body of Christ, say African American brother or sister, or say AA, if African American is too long to say. If they're Asian, say Asian brother or sister, if Spanish, say Spanish brother or sister, if Jewish, say Jewish brother or sister and so on. Oh wow. Well my Asian sister in Christ is causing problems amongst our fellow brethren. Much better. If this continues, 
Let me know and I'll call the school or make an appearance myself. And you said she's Asian? Yeah. Can I be excused to my room? Sure, baby. Remember to wash your hands, say your prayers, read your Bible and do your homework. I'll have dinner ready soon. Okay. Dinah said she's Asian. I hope that's not Kenny's daughter. He said she was transferring to this school today. I'll have to ask him about it. Who is that she's walking with? You're so pretty you know that? You wanna come to my house today? I can't today. My dad is waiting for me over there. Friday then? You can make something up so he won't have to pick you up. I live alone. I'll see. I gotta go. Bye. You wanna tell me who that boy was you were walking with? He's my study partner. We're going back to his place Friday to study for a big test coming up. His mom will be home. You couldn't have a female study partner? Dad, he's the smartest one in class. I had to beg him to help me with this project. Please, Dad. You can call his mom if you don't believe me. Can we just go home now? It was a long day and I'm tired. Zina, you know it's a sin before God to lie, especially if you're not honoring me with the truth. The Bible says for children to honor their parents, if a science 6, 1 and 3. Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Are you dishonoring me by lying to my face? Look me in the eyes and tell me the truth. Dad, I'm telling you the truth. He's my study partner and his name is Brad. Friday after school. What do you want, Zina? We're not friends, you know. I know, but can you please call my dad and pretend to be Brad's mom and explain to my dad that Brad and I are study partners? So you want to hang out with Brad, eh? Yes. Okay. I'll help you. Lucky for you, I'm a good makeup artist. Prepare to be dazzled as I transform myself into an old lady. Ten minutes later. That's creepily impressive. You're welcome. Hand me your phone. Hi, sweetie. Wait, who are you please and why are you calling from my daughter's phone? Hi, Mr. Wang, right? Yes. Who is this, please? Mr. Wang, I'm Miss Thompson. I'm calling from your daughter's phone to inform you that she'll be over my house studying with my son Brad. I'll keep my eyes glued on both of them so nothing happens. Please don't worry, she's safe. Okay, that's a relief. Thanks for calling to confirm that. Always happy to help. Well, I'll let you speak with your daughter. Have a nice evening. Hi, Dad. I'm fine. I'll be back home around 7 or 8 because there's a lot we have to cover for next week's test. I'll see you soon. I love you. Let me know when you're finished studying so that I can come pick you up. Okay. Bye. Bye, sweetie. Happy. Very. Thank you. But can you please change back to your normal self? This look is creeping me out. Oh, right. Better? Much better. Don't ever hug me again. Sorry. Have fun with Brad. Lord God Jesus Christ. Please watch over my daughter and keep her safe. You said to call on you in all the time especially in times of trouble. And call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Psalm 50, 15 KJV. Help keep my baby safe Father in Jesus name, Amen. Good job. Next stop, my place. You proud of me for tricking my dad to be here with you? Very. You deserve an award for your good acting, so uh, let me reward you. He starts rubbing her knee slowly making his way to her side, then further up with a smug look on his face. Wait, I'm a virgin. It's okay. I'll be gentle. I'm sorry but I can't do this. 
I'm not ready. You understand, right? Sure. Maybe next time. Thanks, Brad. I'm gonna go home now. I'll call my dad outside. See you at school. See you. Thank you, Jesus, for studying a bit early. Now I'm at peace. Next week in school. This the school's library? Ozina. Hi. Yes, this is it. You can sit next to me if you want. No thanks. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna look for another book to read. Be right back. Five minutes later. She didn't want to sit next to me but she don't mind sitting next to a Caucasian sister. Where's the new student, Zina? Why is she always running late? Hanging out with you is gonna get me in so much trouble. I'm already late to class, again. Five more minutes? I gotta get going. See you. So nice of you to finally join us, Zina. Please don't be late to my class again. Now take a seat next to Jade. I'd rather sit back here. That's not where I asked you to sit. Now if you don't want to fail this class, sit where I asked you to be. Is everything okay with you? What's it to you, gal? Are you Christian? I don't have to answer you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with the attitude? I was only asking a question. You girls have something you want to share with the rest of the class? Otherwise, why are you talking? Mr. White, I can't concentrate on the work with this devil sitting next to me. Miss Wang, a word with you after class. Now on with today's lesson. After class, after school. Have a blessed day, students. Be good because God is always watching. What did you do to upset Jade, Zina? How you think I did something? What if she was the problem? Because Jade's always kind and sweet to everyone who crosses her path. She gets along with everybody here, and she never starts trouble even when she's not in my class. I know because the other teachers brag about how good of a student and role model she is. You were late to class on the other hand, you didn't respect me by sitting where I assigned you to, you were acting dismissive and rude to Jade the whole time you've been here even though instructions were to work with your partner to get the project done. You were completely disrespectful, and so for these reasons I'm sending you to the principal's office. Don't bother trying to make up a story, the principal overheard everything through our classroom's monitor. Come with a better heart tomorrow God willing. This is a Christian college and that's how we behave, like Christians. Loving each other. That's all, you're dismissed. As I was saying, I hate that I have to sit next to her. Why couldn't I just keep sitting by myself? She's so mean for no reason. I know how you feel, but maybe she has a reason to act like that. A sinister reason. What reason would that be? Yeah, I'm curious too. This might sound strange but what if she's racist against blacks or people with darker skin? You think? Her? But she has no reason to be racist when she's Asian. Also, the school won't allow it because racism is a sin before God and the school upholds Jesus' standards in the Bible against wickedness. Many students have already been expelled being racist. We know racism is a sin but does she know it? We gotta pray for her because the devil is fighting her hard, with pride and hatred trying to win her soul for hell. I know it's easy to be mad at her but if she is our Christian sister in Christ then we must forgive her, love her enough and band together to pray for her. She'll be in trouble with God if she don't realize her faults and humbles herself to the Lord. Guys, let's bow our heads. Dinah's prayer, Father God in Jesus' name we come before you, because your word says that where two or three are gathered together in your name, you are in the middle of us, Matthew 18 20 KJV. Lord, as you know, this problem we are facing with this new student Zina, we feel she may be racist towards those you also love, whom you also made, us darker skinned people and Abba we lift her up in prayer, because we suspect the devil is fighting her with pride, because she's lighter skinned, and because of her pride she carries around hatred in her heart for us who are not as light as she is. May you deliver her and those like her from the bondage of Satan, in Jesus name. Daniel's prayer. Yes Lord, because we know that pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs 16 18 KJV. Jade's prayer. Father, 
help me and my friends to forgive this young lady for her evil she's shown us since she's been here, as you want us to be forgiving our enemies like your word instructs us to do in Colossians 3.13 KJV. Help me to tolerate her in class and be merciful to her as you've shown me mercy. Daniela's prayer, yes Lord Jesus. Help us to be kind to her and get along regardless of how she is acting, yet bless us to be wise as serpents, yet harmless as doves like Matthew 10 16 KJV says because Lord, we desire to follow peace with everyone as your word says to do in Hebrews 12 14 KJV. Mitchell's prayer, Abba we just want our loving atmosphere back before Zina showed up. Help her Lord and help us. We're only college children, but we're still your children and we come to you for help dear Lord, because we know that only you can turn this mess into a message, this test into a testimony, this trial into triumph, and this victim into victory, for we trust you dear Lord. We cry out to you because we know you hear us and you will deliver us from the hand of the evil one, even Zina you will deliver as your word promises in Psalm 91, 14 and Jeremiah 15 21 KJV. Back to Dinah. Help us Abba, and in your name Jesus we pray. Amen. They all say Amen together. Nice to finally meet you Zina, but too bad it had to be under these circumstances. I've been getting complaints about you recently but you've only been here for only a few weeks. You're the new student but the only one who makes it into my office, besides Brad Thompson. You wanna tell me what's going on? No I don't. I just wanna go home. It was brought to my attention that you treat our black students and people who are their friends very poorly. And you disrespected your African American teacher by not following his orders to sit next to your fellow peer Jade. Not to mention you're always late to his class. You wanna tell me what that's all about? As if you and your kind aren't racist yourselves. But I see why you would be. They're so, dark. Am I right? Look at me and you. We're white. Young lady I'm about to get you all the way together. First off, you're not white you're yellow. Second, how dare you feel racist against these beautiful lovely black people just because you're lighter. Did you forget God made them too in his image and in his likeness? Did you forget God loves them? Humble yourself. They are people too. Yeah, people to work out in the fields as slaves. That's how it's always been around the world. Darker people has less of a chance becoming something good than whiter skinned people. Darker skin is frowned on in India, parts of Europe, in America and you can't tell me this isn't the case. Lower your voice when speaking to me or any adult. And that may be the case in all them other countries, as wrong as it is because racism of any sort is wicked and wrong. But the US does not have slaves today, unless you consider husbands as slaves. Can you count the number of African Americans who made something of themselves, not to mention unheard of black inventors from America and those in other countries including the Christian ones? You can't. Slavery in America is out but racism still happens, sadly and you aren't helping it by being racist yourself, especially if you call yourself a Christian. Don't be a hypocrite, because either you're with God or the devil but you can't be with both. Racism is evil and wrong. The Bible says to stand and fight against such oppression or any oppression, Proverbs 24 12 and Proverbs 31, 9. So don't waltz in here like you know anything because clearly you don't. Don't you dare treat our African American Christian students with a superior complex, nor any of our students. Let me give you a quick history lesson Miss Wang. Racism is one of the sins that entered the world through Adam and Eve's downfall, disobeying God instead of obeying him from a pure heart and a genuine love for him. Since then, they basically handed their rights over to the devil, opening Pandora's box so to speak. And now we are stuck with one of the sins known as racism, unfortunately. So, instead of using your color to hurt people, use it to help people as you would want others to help you out in times of need. Stand up against hatred. I'm sure you don't like it when xenophobic whites oppress Asian people, so why are you oppressing darker skinned people? Use your lightness to be a light for Jesus Christ, and you will be blessed. Do it out of a pure and genuine heart. Lastly, my second wife is a beautiful Christian black queen. I married her when my first wife died. I'm a happily married man with four beautiful biracial Christian children. Don't assume every white person is racist just because you're racist. Now, although I forgive you, you need to ask those whom you hurt with your insensitivity for their forgiveness, and start being on time to Mr. White's class. You serious? 
I'm very serious. And since you're not remorseful, I will have to make an example out of you. Zina Wang, you are suspended for the rest of this week. I will call your father and let him know. But I'm gonna pray for you because this is a very serious matter. Like the saying goes, one bad apple spoils the bunch. May God help you my dear. I hope our prayers works. Trust in God. It will work in Jesus name. Are you okay? I'm scared. I never experienced racism in this school before. Me neither but don't worry babe. God and the school will take care of everything. Thank God we're not attending a secular school where racism would probably be tolerated for the most part. I got you. Okay? Okay. Jesus bless this car. Hi mom. You didn't have to pick me up today. I know sweetie but I wanted to. Now is a good time for you to know something about me and Lord willing I pray all goes well. Okay mom but before you do, I gotta tell you some bad news. What is it honey? You know my Asian sister in Christ who I was telling you about? Yes. What about her? Just as I suspected, she's racist. She is, is she? How do you know? She told her mom everything. Back at home. Jesus bless this home. Jesus bless this house. Hi there. We need to talk. Okay sweetie, but right now I'm driving with my daughter in the car. Is your daughter's name Zina Wang? It is. Is something wrong? Very. Call me when you get home. Jesus bless this home. Jesus bless this home. Excuse me young lady, you show God more respect than that. Go to your room, pray and repent to God. Hi Kenny, thanks for calling. Of course beautiful, anything for you. What's up? Kenny, I'm surprised you didn't see it. See what baby, tell me. Your daughter is a racist and she's been targeting black children including my daughter. She's a what? A racist Kenny. I mean how have you not known this about your own daughter? My daughter told me everything. And how do I know they're not lying on her and causing her problems? So you're calling my Dinah a liar? Because she never lies especially not about something like this. I'm not calling her a liar, but this is the first time I'm hearing about this. Hold on sweetie pie, it's a call from the school. Good evening Mr. Wang. I'm Principal Luke at the Southside Christian Academy, where your daughter attends. Hi Principal Luke, how can I help you? Sir, I'm calling to inform you that your daughter, Zina, is suspended for the rest of the week for her intolerance of our African American students, and we don't allow that racial discrimination at our Christian Academy. She can come back next week, but hopefully with a changed heart that only God can change. We here will pray for her. She gets one warning, one chance. Afterwards, if this continues, she will be expelled because racism is a very hurtful unnecessary thing, and this wickedness simply isn't allowed here on school grounds. So it's true? With all due respect, where's the evidence she's being racist, and how do I know she's not being bullied? I can assure you it's the other way around. If you like, I can run you the video footages we have of her misbehaving around other students, African American. She also did not comply with her African-American teacher today when he gave her simple instructions to sit next to another Christian peer, African-American, and she's always late to his classroom. She's fond of our Caucasian Christian students, but African-Americans she treats poorly, and this has been going on for the two weeks she's been here. This was informed to the school Monday of today and we reviewed the tapes. This behavior is simply not tolerated here. Whenever you're ready, I can email you all the footages from her first week to today. I'd like to see them. So Principal Luke emails Mr. Wang all footages of Zina acting racist towards everyone except Caucasians, and Principal Luke also sends Mr. Wang the recorded conversation that he, Principal Luke had with Zina in his office just before she was excused to leave school premises. I'm so sorry. She never exhibited racist behavior here at home. We're Christian and my lady is African American. I would have a serious talk to her about it if I were you, and please keep your lady safe and happy. My wife is also an African American, beautiful Christian woman of God. I wouldn't dare let anyone spoil what we have to satisfy their evil appetite. I'll be praying for you, God bless. 
God bless and thank you for bringing this to the light. That took long. Well, what did the school say? Honey, I'm so sorry, and for having you wait so long. That was the principal. He confirmed what you were telling me and I even saw the footages and heard her conversation with the principal. She's suspended for the rest of the week, and if she keeps it up she'll be expelled. My goodness. I know. Can I see you? I really need to be with you right now, but if you don't want to see me I understand. Again, I'm sorry for everything. Well, yes I'll see you. Where? Can I come to your place and we sit in my car and talk? Alright. Okay, thanks my love. Oh God, help me. Father God in Jesus name I come before you. Lord, I didn't know I have an evil child. Where did she learn this from? I have no idea, but I need your help to fix this for me Jesus. This is tearing me up inside. Please don't let this negatively affect the love I share between my woman and me, and hopefully we can talk about it tonight with a safe trip I pray. I feel so ashamed, so stupid for not knowing that Zina was like this, but neither her mother or I are racist so I am confused where she learned this behavior from and for how long. Father, I love my baby girl, but I am very disappointed in her. I ask you dear Lord to forgive her, create in her a clean heart O God, and renew a right spirit within her, as your servant David once said in Psalm 51, 10. Heal my baby girl Abba, and release her from the bondage of the devil. Help me Lord, and I pray our daughters together can get along as your love and peace leads them to. I pray for Tamar to be my beautiful black queen as my wife, and that nothing stops our love. Father, I'm crying out to you on bended knees. Forgive me my sins. Thank you Lord for your everlasting love for us, bless your holy name and may your will be done. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I'll get ready to leave now and I'll deal with Zina later. So he's seeing a black woman. I can't stay here. Father God in Jesus name I come before you. Thank you for another opportunity to bless praise worship and honor your holy name, for hallowed be your majestic name Lord. God I need your intervention in my life right now Lord. The devil is fighting and we need you more than ever to defend and rescue us. For you are my refuge and my fortress, my God and in you I will trust. Surely you will deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. Abba, you will cover me with your feathers and under your wings shall I trust, for your truth shall be my shield and buckler, as your word says in Psalm 91. 2 to 4 KJV. God, I love my man Kenny, but I pray his daughter be humbled and get right with you before she knows that her father and I are dating. I pray my daughter and her can get reacquainted again, as stepsisters and that they get along well. Remove all hatred from any of our hearts and bless us to love each other, your kind of love that pleases you for your glory. Bring our peace back Lord, and in your name Jesus I pray, Amen. Well let me get ready to leave now. May God bless us with a safe trip Lord willing. Oh great, my car won't start. He's still outside? I'll sneak out of the back door. Hey, can I come over? Yeah come on over. I'll meet you outside. Okay. This outfit looks hip enough. Showtime. Hey, is everything alright? Not really. My car won't start because it needs more oil. Can you come here? Sure babe. I'll be there in 30 minutes Lord willing. I love you so much my breath of fresh air queen. Sure thing my love, see you soon. Mom he's your love. He's somebody i like you to meet. Now? Sure. I'll let him know you're coming along for the ride. Let's go. So... I'm ready. That's all I need to know. We're here. Stay in the car sweetie and I'll motion you to come out and meet him. Okay. Hi. 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 Thank God you had a safe trip, and thanks for coming out today on such short notice. I wanted to see you too so it's no problem. Let's sit in my car and talk. I'll get the door for you. Alright. 
I'm so sorry for everything my daughter has put your daughter through. I really had no idea she was like this. Is that your little girl I see in there? That's her but she's not so little anymore. You'll meet her soon. They talk about the incident for 10 minutes, prayed together and decided their love was stronger just to give up on it and that they would try to get their daughters to comfortably agree with their parents being together. Would you like to come inside my home? Sure. I'll let my daughter know. I guess now is a good time to break the ice to them. I agree. And I'll set some ground rules for my daughter. Jesus bless this home. Jesus bless this home. You have a nice place. Thanks. My house is your house. You ladies make yourselves at home and I'll order takeout if you haven't eaten yet. Sounds like a plan. I'll just use the bathroom first. Down the hall to your right. Gosh, that woman is so beautiful inside and out. Hi, Rina. It's so nice to finally meet you. Hi. You too. Make yourself at home and I'll order takeout. Sweetie, we have to tell you something. What is it, Mom? This is the one you were talking with on the phone, right? I'm in love with your mother and I would like to marry her. We never discussed marriage yet, Kenny. Right? But it was bound to come up sooner or later since we're Christian, and I would love to have you as my wife. But first, our daughters need to know about each other and hopefully and prayerfully get along. We need to discuss some things, so I'll bring my daughter out. She's not in her room or nowhere in the house. She snuck out, but where? I'll call her. Three hours later. She's not taking my calls. Why don't you ladies get home now? Dinah you can meet her sometime this week Lord willing. K. Okay. Because it's been three hours and I'm tired. Dear go rest in the car and lock the doors. Here's the keys. Okay. Nice meeting you mister. Mr. K is fine. Wish you didn't have to go. I wish you could stay here with me forever. God willing one day, I will if we get married. Oh sweetheart, I can't wait to make you my wife. The question is, would you want to marry me? I do, but as always we pray and fast on it first. I love you so much Kenny and I don't ever want to be without you again. That's music to my ears. But, your daughter. I know, and I'll talk to her. She knows better than that. I'll even disown her if I have to before I allow that wickedness to stay under my roof. God forbid. We'll be praying for her. Well, I should go. What? I love you. I love you so much tomorrow. I love you too, Kenny. Bye. <laughs> and what was she and her mother doing inside my house? Dad. Don't you come in here yelling at me, young lady. Have you lost your mind? And what are you wearing? Where have you been? And why didn't you greet God when you walked in and asked him to bless this home yet? And you're suspended from school. Care to tell me why? I might tell you if you tell me what them slaves were doing inside my house. You will not be disrespectful to God, me, or the woman I love nor her daughter or any other people of color anymore. You've embarrassed me long enough but I won't tolerate this from you again, do you understand me? Daddy, you slapped me. Do you understand me Zina? Yes. Good, because I will disown you before I let you stay here doing this wickedness. This home is a house of God in prayer and you will respect it or live with someone else. Now go to your room, get changed. Come back out and we're gonna have a long talk about your behavior. Yes, sir. Five minutes later. Zina, baby girl, tell me why you don't like black people. How did you become this way? I won't get mad. Promise you won't get mad. Of course not. Because I'm jealous of them. I want to be like them. Why? Because they were so cool and hip, and I'm not. I'm a plain Jane Japanese Asian chick. They have the looks, the beauty, stylish clothes, swag, cool hairstyles, they really friendly, has strong faith in God and the list goes on, and now they have some power in America. I envy them. Here's my Instagram that's dedicated to black people's coolness since K-pop introduced their secret love for black people and B-style is famous in Japan. Honey Bunny. K-pop is another tool of the devil which is why we don't listen to worldly music. If you think they're so cool then you have a strange way of showing it. 
Why not befriend them instead of belittling them and feeling threatened by them? Because I didn't want them to think they have power over me too, unless I showed I have power over them. So I used racism to have full power. I know it was wrong but I didn't know what else to do. So you turned to the devil for help which created an even bigger mess. Now you're suspended for the rest of the week because of your foolish racism? And you shouldn't envy nobody, because you are also perfect the way God made you and until you truly give your life to Jesus Christ you will never see your own worth. Honey Bunny, African Americans had to fight to get to where they're at, and the ones at your school are your brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. They may seem cool on the outside, but you must remember their ancestors went through a whole lot just to get them where they are today and it's by the grace of God. The US, as unfair as it is to them, are offering them more equality thank God. They endured a lot, more than Asians will ever endure, so being racist to them isn't how you express your love for them. It's not that hard to say hi, I like your hair, your style or anything else you like and I'm sure they won't think they're better than you. On the contrary, they need more people with our skin tones and lighter to help fight against racism, not be a part of it because God condemns such wickedness. They were so nice to me at school, and just about everywhere I go. But what about those blacks who assault innocent Asians, because they feel like they can? There's always bad people in every culture, because no culture is perfect. Two wrongs don't make a right, and remember we live in a fallen world no thanks to Adam and Eve, and society now is as close to lawlessness as it's gonna get until we're out of here in the rapture. God made our diverse skin tones so that we can embrace each other's differences, not use it to divide us as the devil wants us to do. No, we have to fight against this wickedness with God's word. John 13 34 Jesus gave a new commandment which reads, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another. As I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. John 15 13 and 1 John 3 16, Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. So you know what's really cool about them? Is how God blesses them with the strength, dignity and grace to keep going and existing despite their very traumatizing history. It's by God's grace alone that anyone keeps going with respect shown, and until you have walked a mile in their shoes, respect their struggle, stand up and be a voice for them in times of opposition, because they still face racism especially in America, and always be kind to everybody, because we're all fighting a battle unknown to your fellow. Don't look to hurt anybody on purpose, because God is the great avenger. Love your brethren in Christ Jesus no matter the color of their skin, and treat everybody equal. Be fair and remember, everybody has a struggle you know nothing about so be kind and thoughtful, especially to fellow Christians. All fellow Christians. I feel so stupid but I know what I must do. We all make mistakes. And let's end in prayer. Bow your head. Father God in Jesus Christ name I come before you with Zina. Help us as we try to come against any wickedness in this spiritual warfare and mend the once peaceful love we had in our home. Help my daughter with her relationship with you dear God and strengthen her to do what's right from here on out as you lead her in your righteous ways and may you grant her a heart that sincerely loves you and loves other people no matter their skin tone and that she obeys your word. In Jesus name I pray. Dear Lord in Jesus name. I know I haven't been on my knees to talk to you in a while, but I do believe Jesus is your son, and that you raised Jesus from the dead three days later as Romans 10, 9-10 says. Please Lord hear my cry and forgive my wicked ways. I never meant to treat people so evil, and most certainly not my fellow Christians. Help me Lord to make it right with them and I pray they forgive me. Help me to surrender my life back to you Lord, your prodigal daughter. I repent for my atrocious actions against you, for it is you whom I have sinned against. Thank you for using my dad to talk some sense into me, and thank you Heavenly Father for your love, grace, mercies and forgiveness, and may your will be done and in Jesus name we pray, Amen. Amen. I'm happy you're doing the right thing. Thank you baby girl. You think you would be up to meet the woman I love and her daughter this week? Sure, but can we do it at the end of the week? I'm not ready to meet anybody right now. You got it. Friday, the end of the school week, after school. Well today I get to meet my stepsister. Wahoo! Get happy girl! And you said he's Asian. 
Wouldn't it be funny if Zina was his daughter? Um, no, that wouldn't be funny at all. Just a lifetime of misery. I'll keep you updated. You do that and whatever happens, you'll be fine because God will see to it. I'm a phone call away too. Jesus bless this house. And help me Lord. You're my stepsister. Hi Dinah. How was school today? So this is your daughter Mr. K. I know it's a surprise, but I promise you we will sort everything out. But for now, please just listen to what Zina has to say. Please? Mom? Honey, please. I know how you feel but give her a chance to apologize. Here, you two can have the couch to talk. I'll move over to the armchair. It'll be fine God willing, don't worry. I'll just stand here. Don't need to sit down. Sweetheart, open your heart. We all know she was wrong, but we all make mistakes and none of us are perfect, not even you. She's here to make amends so please, just listen to what she has to say. For me? Please? Remember when you shared with me how you and your friends prayed for Zina to change for the better? Well your prayers worked thank God and I think you'll find it quite interesting what she has to say. I'm so sorry for hurting you and your friends with my racism and bigotry and if I could I would take it back. Please sit so we can talk better, Christian sister. So, why did you act like that towards us? Because I was jealous of black people. What the? But that don't make sense. Come on spill it Zina cause I don't believe that. I know it sounds crazy, but black people, in my eyes, both Christian and non-Christian are literally the bomb while I'm just a basic Japanese girl, boring to the core. I know I should have befriended you instead of being xenophobic, but in my twisted mind, I wanted to have the upper hand, because blacks have everything, much more than Asians, except not having white skin color, and I wanted to use that to have the upper hand. Excuse you? There are some blacks who are as white as white people, and I'm not talking about the albinos. How could you betray the very people you seem to love the most, what kind of nonsense is that? Dinah I know. I know. It was crazy I know but I love and admire you and black people so much so, that my Instagram is blown up with black people. B-style is popular in Japan and K-pop from South Korea also mirrors black people and their style and dances. These were a part of my identity for a while. I'd even dress up to look hip like a beautiful black girl. See, look. Girl you need help. I mean yes my friends and I prayed for you but this is crazy. I agreed to get help at a Christian counseling center after school. Do you forgive me? I'll never act that way again. I'm really really sorry. And thank you for praying for me, I really needed your prayers. Keep praying for me, please. I can't believe I'm saying this but... Oh my goodness. Yes I forgive you and we'll keep praying for you. Thank you Dinah, thank you so much, you're really sweet. I'm truly sorry. Thank you for forgiving me. Don't thank me Zina. My father in heaven says to forgive others just as I was forgiven and if I want to be forgiven by him through his son Jesus Christ our Lord. Also, you might want to stop idolizing people, even black people because that's your first offense to God. All idolatry is worship and wrong. Colossians 3, 5 KJV Bible. Worship God alone, not black people. Jesus Christ alone deserves all our worship, for he alone is God and he alone gets the praise because he alone saves us from death hell and destruction. Black people or anybody else can't save you, only Jesus can. So put that love towards God alone. Respect black people and treat us human like you would do for any culture, and as we also do for others, but never worship us. Black people along with all people have flaws so nobody's perfect. We're all one fallen human race and we all need the Savior, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If I were you I would delete your whole Instagram and start over, but with God and learn to appreciate yourself, who God made you to be in the Lord, and be kind and humble holding the Bible as final authority in your life. You are so wise praise God. Thank you for this much needed pep talk. I needed it. Just so you know, 
African American culture is huge in K-pop and black people are also admired in some Asian countries like Japan. Their love for black people is called B-style. Just remember, there's African Americans and then there's African American Christians and that goes for every culture. Christians should not blend in with modern society and its music, if it goes against the word of God and teaches sin, no matter the culture. All Christians need to stick together bringing the word of God to all cultures to help win souls for God's glory. Beautifully said dear, glory to God. We'll be praying for this whole family. Absolutely. Thank God we're all on better terms and I'm really happy you girls are getting along. Thanks Dinah for forgiving Zina. God bless you young lady, and you too Zina. Well what you don't know Zina, is that Miss T and I have been courting for the past 8 months. Tomorrow God willing is our anniversary which makes 9 months we've been dating exclusively. We want to celebrate it alone, together. So we trust you girls will behave yourselves, because mama wanna enjoy a nice romantic time with her man. Next day on their date. God bless you sweetie. God bless you too. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Tamar, I love you so much ever since the first time you proved to me your bad chopstick skills when I served you sweet and sour chicken. You remember? That was so embarrassing. You remember that? How can I forget, when it was the highlight to the beginning of something special. Besides, I remember everything about you. So. He gets on one knee with an engagement ring in his right hand. Baby what are you doing? What I should have done a long time ago. Tamar, will you marry me? I promise to protect and provide for you, pray over you and with you all the days of my life as God wills in Jesus name. Oh Kenny. Yes I will marry you baby. He slides the ring on her left ring finger and stands back up. It's beautiful. You're beautiful, and you've just made me the happiest man alive. So Zina returned back to school, apologizing to all the people she hurt including her teacher Mr. White. She started being on time to his class, never hanging out with Brad again. They all did the Christian thing and forgave her, and her friendship with Dinah was progressing. Go away Zina. Why? You were just another one of his groupies. Too bad for you though. What's that supposed to mean? You'll see what I mean soon enough. Later. Does she know about me and Brad? And why was she so eager to help me out if she knew something bad about him? Two months later. Jade, I don't feel so good. Girl you're throwing up blood. Mr. White Zina is throwing up blood. And I feel so dizzy. My stomach hurts. Here's a hall pass to go to the nurse's office. I'll clean up the vomit. Your vomit and stomach pains got so bad the nurse said you needed to see a doctor. You had blood in your vomit, but I hope it's just from a food virus. Lord Jesus let her be okay. Hi doctor, nice seeing you again. God bless your brother. Mr. Wang it's been a while man, how are things going for you? I got engaged and we're planning on getting married God willing sometime after the children's graduation. God is good and congratulations. I know you must be ecstatic. I'm happy for you brother and I wish you nothing but the best. Well, I'm gonna go collect your daughter's blood and urine cup and I'll let you know the results and what's been causing her to vomit up blood. 15 minutes later. I'm afraid I have sad news. She has an active tuberculosis disease, and she's two months pregnant. Dr. Drake are you for real? Yes, it's true Kenny. She will be treated with a combination of antibacterial medications for a period of 6 to 12 months, 4 medications in total, and then her treatment would be complete. I'm so sorry. I know this isn't what you wanted to hear. I can test you also, to be sure you don't have tuberculosis, 
as well as all others she's been in contact with. Whoever has been infected will be treated with the same medications. I'll give Zina her first treatment today. Five minutes later. Your results are negative thank God, but please try to tell others that she talked with to get tested too. As far as her pregnancy, in which I assume she's having the baby. We're Christians and don't believe in abortion, so yeah I guess she'll be having it. That's great news, and even under these circumstances, babies are a gift from God, Psalm 127, 3. Please don't ever consider killing this precious innocent child. Mr. Wang, I will assign your daughter to Dr. Lee, our outstanding OBGYN. She's even been my wife's care doctor for years. Your daughter will be scheduled for an appointment to see Dr. Lee next week for prenatal care and checkups. Ms. Zina can have a healthy pregnancy and delivery if she eats three meals a day, choosing foods that have important vitamin and minerals for the baby such as calcium, iron, folate and more, and her choice of two healthy snacks. She should drink plenty of water, eat seafood if she likes seafood, but ones that are lower in mercury like salmon, pollock, herring, shrimp, mussels, light tuna and things like that. Avoid foods that can harm the baby. And please be sure she gets plenty of rest. No stressing her out and please stay away from smokers and sodas and juices with too much sugar and get sufficient amounts of sleep. I will give you two prenatal care pamphlets of everything I mentioned and more. God is with you, it's going to be okay. I'm praying for you brother, in Jesus name. I'm so sorry daddy. Please don't be mad at me. Do you at least know who the father of the child is? Yes. His name is Brad Thompson from school. I'll drop you at home and you be sure to get some sleep. I have to go back out. <laughs> Baby I'm so sorry this is happening to you, but we'll get through this together, in Jesus name. Everything's gonna be just fine. Come here. After school. I hope this recorder works well. Jesus help me. Here goes. Hey Muffy, I'm not gonna hold you long, I just wanted to know, when you were suddenly eager to help me hook up with Brad Thompson, why did you call me a groupie for doing so? So you're gonna walk me all the way to my limo with these questions. And why are you asking me? Didn't you contract something from him, like a love bug? So you knew he had a deadly disease known as tuberculosis, and you still set me up to hook up with him? Why Muffy? Because he was my boyfriend before you groupies stole him away from me. So yes I pretended to be your friend to help you get him just so that you can end up like all the other groupies, with a tuberculosis disease. I'm clean but he contracted it along the way with his cheating on me so as far as I'm concerned, you all can rot together. And he knew he had the disease too? Yep. He was the one who told me when he tried making me feel sorry for him but I would never accept him back. Happy. It was a setup. She told them everything and let them hear what was recorded. I'm so sorry daddy. I should have never gave my virginity away until I was married. No matter, we all make mistakes. We're taking this information to the police. Come on girls. I'm gonna get dinner ready. Go change your clothes. <coughs> what are police doing here? What have you gotten yourself into now Muffy? How may I help you officer? I have an arrest warrant for a Martha Smith. I confess. Wait a minute, that's not me that's my daughter. What are you arresting her for? She's charged with conspiring an intentional fatal and spreadable disease to afflict another. Martha Smith you're coming with me now hands behind your back. Brad Thompson you were arrested for criminally purposely spreading a deadly disease. So Brad and Muffy was charged as the police officer had said. Muffy's mom got a lawyer and her money beat the case, but Muffy was still put on house arrest and probation for a year. She was allowed to attend the graduation ceremony. She felt bad for what she's done to Zina and apologized to Zina and her family and they forgave her and prayed for her. Brad felt no remorse nor did he get to graduate, but they still forgave him and prayed for him. He was charged as an adult and placed in prison for 15 years. Later on he repented and gave his life to Jesus, as did Muffy. While there, he got news he would be a father. Everybody who was in contact with Zina got tested and all results were negative praise God. Three months later, graduation. 
That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for these outstanding young Christian adults. Congratulations to them and may God always bless them with mercy and have his hand of provision and protection on them. In Jesus Christ's name, God bless you graduates of Southside Christian Academy College. Another round of applause for our students. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you're almost six months pregnant already. Yeah, right. And look, my water just broke. Guess I'm gonna have a premature delivery. I'll just run to the bathroom and clean up before heading to the hospital. Why is there blood? Am I having a miscarriage? How is she, Dr. Drake? Mr. Wang, she had a miscarriage and she hasn't been taking her medications like she should have. She lost a lot of blood and now she's dying. My Zina is dying? I'm really sorry. We tried giving her her medications a few minutes ago but she refuses to take them. She's also coughing up more blood. I don't know why she's refusing her medications when they can help her. <laughs> can I see her? Visiting hours are over, but you can come back tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. God willing. We're gonna keep her overnight to try stabilizing her and giving her her medications again. Mr. Wang, you've been through so much. I know this is a difficult moment in your life right now, but you are a strong man of God and whatever happens, just please know that God has a perfect reason for everything that happens. Keep trusting him. It's gonna work out for the best because God is in control. Pray for her. Kenny. The doctor said she lost the baby, and that she wasn't taking her medications like she should. As a result, she's dying and she's coughing up blood. Her lungs are unbearable. I should have paid more attention to her and made sure she took her meds, but work became so demanding and I thought I could trust her to take them. We can come back tomorrow to see her. Let's go home. Keddy, baby, I'm so sorry. But why wouldn't she want to take her meds? My love, pray with me. Of course. So they prayed and let God have his way. Next morning at the hospital. Honey bunny, why won't you take your medications? The doctors are trying to save you. I need you to make it for me, okay? Daddy. I stopped taking my medications when I was three months pregnant and I don't want to take any more. I just want to die. I feel so guilty for all the pain I've caused everyone including you. I know everybody forgave me but still. I lost my baby but we will be reunited in heaven. Just let me die in peace. I don't want to see anybody else because you're the last memory I want to keep before I close my eyes for good. My spirit and soul will be with the Lord. Don't worry. Now I feel like sleeping. I love you, Daddy. Goodbye. <laughs> but sweetie, how can you not forgive yourself when God forgave you? <laughs> so Zina died at the age of 17. The wedding was postponed for a while as Kenny sought therapy for losing his only child. He wanted Tamar there with him for support and she gladly supported her man. Then they sought marriage counseling to help strengthen their already strong and passionate bond before getting married. Two years later at the altar. Do you can you take Tamar as your lawfully wedded wife to heaven to hold, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, long as you both shall live till death do you part? In Jesus name I do. And do you Tamar take Kenny as your lawfully wedded husband to heaven to hold, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, Long as you both shall live till death do you part? In Jesus name I do. Then by the power invested in me, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your lovely bride. God bless your sacred union.
Congrats on your mom's wedding bestie. Thanks girl. So happy you could be here with us to celebrate it. Thank God something good finally happened after what happened with Zina. Yeah, I know. And what was that for? Because you were looking sad and I wanted to cheer you up. I have something to ask you but next week. Ask me now or I'm never being your friend again. Who you kidding? You and I both know that's not possible. <laughs> Alright you got me. But can you ask me now pretty please? With a cherry on top. I like it when you beg for more. Sis, I'm gonna borrow Diana right quick. Don't wait up. So what couldn't you ask me in front of Daniela? I wanted to wait to ask you this because I didn't want to rain on your mother's parade. But okay, since you asked me here goes. Which is, he gets on one knee pulling out a red velvet engagement box, opens it up with a pink diamond cut engagement ring inside. I love you Dinah. I always have ever since I can remember. You're a fine woman of God, beautiful prayer warrior with a wonderful sense of humor. I promise to love you through thick and thin, literally and physically. Dinah, will you marry me? This is why they say there's no such thing as boy-girl friendships, because somebody will fall in love with the other. I like you too Daniel, but just because we're friends does not mean we're compatible romantically. Let's date a while and see what happens. And let's pray and fast on it. How are you this wise and beautiful? It's by the grace of God, honey. Then date, pray and fast on it we will. Thank you. Some flowers for you on the back seat. Your favorite kind. Carnations. I love these. I know. Aw, oh, thank you. I miss Zina. Being here brings back memories. I know you miss her, and I kinda miss her too but it's gonna be alright in Jesus name. I got you baby. Let me wipe these tears from your eyes. In Jesus' name I do. In Jesus' name I do. <laughs> Daniel and Dinah prayed and fasted on their friendship turned romance and all was good. They dated celibately for a year. She finally confessed her love for him in the seventh month of dating. They married three months later. They had a God-blessed marriage and was blessed with a set of healthy twin boys and a healthy girl throughout their marriage. Her mother Tamara and Kenny also had a God-blessed marriage. She had beautiful healthy Blasian babies for him, a boy and a girl. The adults evangelized sometimes, attending church regularly and Dinah played the big sister role when she could. Daniel got a good job and moved his family into their own home. Daniela also got married to a good Christian man. Sometimes it's not always God's will for certain people to keep living even if we pray for them. Trust God no matter what because he always knows what's best. Zina couldn't forgive herself for what she did, even though she knew she was forgiven by God and everybody else. Dinah remembered how Daniel was there for her in her moments of trial over Zina, and she loved him even more and they had two more healthy children. Dinah really did miss Zina, but Daniel was always there to cheer her up. Racism rather real hatred or pretense, is wrong and cruel. Don't be racist, see 1 John 3 15 KJV. Humble yourselves to the Lord Jesus Christ, because he don't play favorites and neither should we. Jesus loves you and he expects you to love others and treat people fairly. 1 John 4, 7 and 8 KJV. God will swiftly humble whoever needs you to teach lessons and it's not fun, so let's just choose to obey God out of a genuine heart of gratitude for what he's done for us. 
Love everybody and appreciate all skin tones that God made since we are all made in His image. Genesis 1:27 KJV, because love is of God's children, not including sinful love. Then Peter opened his mouth, and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation that fareth him, and worketh righteousness, is accepted with him. Acts 10:34 and 35 KJV. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence, even of your lusts that were in your members? Ye lust, and have not, ye kill, and desire to have, and cannot obtain, ye fight in war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask, and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. James 4. 1 to 4 KJV. Be satisfied with who God made you to be, and the culture He's placed you in. We're all one human race. Admiring others, maybe, but never envy or idolize others for whatever reason, because God made you perfect just the way you are. Pray to God in Jesus' name and ask Him to help you accept yourself as He made you so you don't look to others to envy them or an idolization of them, even your own culture, because to have idols is a sin. We're only to love God that much, not people. Lord help your children. I will praise thee. For I am fearfully and wonderfully mad, marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Psalm 139, 14 KJV. God bless you all in Jesus Christ's name.